Hey, how's it going guys? Hope you're having an awesome day today. Um, we're like community is doing great in terms of profitability, no matter, you know, despite this giant drop that we've been having. Um, but yeah, we'll dive into the charts. I'll show you what I see with the DXY, with Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin's kind of decoupled from the stock market because of the um, all the recent events. There's a lot of FUD going on with FTX and all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll dive into the charts. I'll show you how you can react off of these certain moves. Um, there's another play that's happening pretty much right now that you guys can react off of if you are an experienced trader. Um, but yeah, let's dive into the charts. I'll show you what I see them on my side, and then um, we'll go from there. All right, cool. See you on the inside. All right. I apologize in advance if you hear any crazy noises in the background. I've got kids running around and uh, still building the office right now. Um, but yeah, let's dive into the charts for the DXY first. Um, even though Bitcoin's kind of decoupled from it a little bit. Well, that's not really possible, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, let's. I'll show you what's going on with DXY. Now, because of what's going on with the uh, Bitcoin, normally this would be a Bitcoin would have a bullish response to this break to the downside, right? Uh, but because of all the sell pressure that's going with Bitcoin, it's, it hasn't really been impacting Bitcoin in a positive way like it normally would. Um, so, if anything, this is actually keeping Bitcoin from dropping to much much lower levels. So. We got this break to the downside for the DXY. It's meeting its next level of support. There's a little bit of consolidation here. That's why it's slowed down. But the next little concrete level of support is actually around 104.479 right here. And we got a little bit of support at 106. Um, so just keep your eye out on that. So if we start seeing a bullish response to the DXY, it might create more a bearish activity for Bitcoin. Um, so we got that for DXY. Just keep your eyes out on that. We dive over to the 15-minute chart for Bitcoin. We broke out of a bear flag right here. And in confluence with that, we have a double top inside of the bear flag. And it's actually getting a rejection right now off the neckline. So if you weren't able to respond from the, the bear flag's uptrend level of support being broken, coming back up and getting a rejection like a confirmation rejection right here, then this would be the next location where you want to begin a short. So what I'm going to be waiting for is just a, a break from this momentum right here. Right? If we break this momentum, this um, uptrend level support, then I'm going to use that as my confirmation to enter off of this neckline rejection from this double top. And we also, if this breaks this, if Bitcoin breaks this uptrend level support, we'll also have a micro double top to add to that momentum to the, to the break to the downside. So that's how I'm going to be responding for a short position here. And it's dumb. Like normally I would enter off of like this as a confirmation here, but we're in an area where there's a lot of area of interest. People have been buying this up like crazy at this location. So we have a lot of um, volume coming through here. And so this is a strong area of interest. So I'd rather wait until we break this uptrend level support before entering a short position just to be a little extra cautious. Yes, I'm sacrificing a tiny minute, little bit of profits, but I would... I would rather um, sacrifice profits for security any day. So if we're trying to measure just off of this double top right here for the technical target, we'd grab we grab, grab a downtrend level of resistance here. And I'm going to create a trend line from the center of the neckline here, go to the center point of that resistance, move it to the neckline, and we get this as the technical target down at. So there's a strong possibility that Bitcoin is going to revisit um, 15,980 or 16,000 if you want to undercut the psychological level of support. Um, I'm going to put this on my chart right here, horizontal array, so you guys can screenshot that. And a location that's good for undercutting, if you start seeing any support around 16,200, just because we found support here and resistance in the past, it may be honored as support again in the future. Um, if we start seeing any like double bottoms or anything like that, that could be a good sign to exit your trade early because um, that's a sign of a reversal, right? Um, so that's just grabbing a technical turret from the double top. But if we were trying to grab it from the bear flag that we just broke out of, 
we have not met the technical target yet for that. So if we're going to grab this trend line, um, typically you want to grab it for the from the most recent level of consolidation. We have a little bit of consolidation here, and this is a little this is fairly conservative. So, um, and I'm a conservative trader, so grab that. And from the moment of breakout, you'd put it at the top level of resistance. So we'd have the technical target of down here at 15,468. So we got lots of signs telling us that things are about to go down. Um, even with a DXY um, s basically signaling that things are likely to go up. So that's why I'm being extra cautious and waiting for this uptrend level support to be broken. All right, so that's Bitcoin. Um, there's uh, that's yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. There's nothing really else to report on. Um, today is the launch for the Impulse Strategy bot that um, Otto and I created, and it's going to change things. It's going to be it's going to be pretty intense. I'm I'm going to keep doing signals, obviously, but um, um, my, I'm going to have I'm going to be filtering some of my profits into that bot, and then taking some of those profits from the bot into the stock market and dip, build my dividend portfolio, and then eventually just retire. So I'm I'm pretty stoked, guys. Um, another thing we can look out for if you want to try to create a future prediction based off of the current price action is we can see that we have support here, right? And if we end up coming down and we actually meet support here or here, either direct, either way, we may actually create a large double bottom. And it could be a sign for a recovery for Bitcoin. And this would be the neckline. So we see price action come down, meet here. Um, let me just undo that um, from here. It's the neckline here. And then either we'll get a bounce here or maybe get a bounce here or maybe we'll get a bounce here. Either way, if we start getting a... Um, a lot of volume can bring us up to this neckline. We could prepare for a reversal and we can grab a technical target from that. We got lots of time before that happens. Um, but if we start seeing signs of a reversal down here, it could be a, a good strategy to maybe put a stop loss below this most recent swing low and enter a long position um, if we start seeing a reversal formation like we did right here. We had like a double bottom within this potential large double bottom being built. Um, but yeah, guys, that's everything I got for you. If you have any questions about this, you can reach out to me in the Discord. I'm going to try to catch up to my DMs today. And you can comment in the um, this YouTube video post if you are, are struggling with anything. If you're not a member, I'll do my best to help you out. All right, guys, have yourself an amazing day, and thanks for watching.